What is going on guys, Flam back another video and today I want to do a comparison between the pump shotgun and the heavy shotgun. Now I'll also go over the tactical shotgun a little bit in this video, but it's mostly a comparison between the pump shotgun and the heavy shotgun and which one is better. So real quick, let's go ahead and go over the rarities as well as the damage numbers for each of these shotguns. We'll start off with the pump shotgun, they actually very 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 recently changed it so that now the lowest tier of a pump shotgun is a green pump and the highest rarity is a blue one, so a blue pump. Now the green pump does 90 damage to the body and the blue pump does 95 damage to the body. When it comes to the heavy shotgun, it also only has two rarities, one being epic or purple and the other being a legendary or gold. Now the epic one does a 73 and a half damage to the body and the gold or the legendary version does 77 to the body. Now when it comes to all shotguns in Fortnite, every single one of them has a headshot multiplier of 2.5 times. So 2.5 times the maximum body shot damage is what you will get if you hit every single pellet of your shotgun to the head of someone. So that means that the lowest rarity, the green pump, can do 225 maximum headshot damage, which of course means that the blue pump can do even more than that, upwards of 230 damage. Now when it comes to the heavy shotgun, the highest possible damage number for a precision headshot that you can get with the gold version of the heavy shotgun is 182 damage. So not even 200 damage, meaning that if someone is 200 health, you would potentially be able to one hit them with a pump, but you would not be able to do that with a heavy shotgun. So right there, right off the bat, the pump has a major advantage because it can potentially one hit someone at any health range, whereas the heavy shotgun cannot kill someone in one hit if they have more than 182 health. Next up, let's go ahead and discuss the fire rates of these weapons. The pump shotgun fires 0.7 shots per second, whereas the heavy shotgun fires one bullet per second. So every second, the heavy shotgun is able to fire one bullet, whereas the pump shotgun is a little bit slower and it takes longer than a full second before you can actually fire another pump shot. So at a very basic level, if you fire both of these weapons at the same time, you're going to be able to fire a second bullet a lot quicker with a heavy shotgun than you would be able to with a pump shotgun. So that is definitely a point for the heavy shotgun. Now next thing I wanted to go over is how accurate both of these weapons are comparatively. Now in order to do that, we have to discuss how shotguns work at a basic level in Fortnite. Shotguns are different from most weapons in that they have pellets inside of a shell. So there's a bunch of tiny pellets that each have a designated damage number, and then when you fire that one shell, all of those pellets explode out into a given area. That given area is the box around your reticle. When you aim a shotgun, you have a box outlined around the edges of your reticle. So what that means is that anywhere inside of that box is where your pellets can potentially go. That is why you will see that something like a pump shotgun is typically more accurate than a tack shotgun because the spread around a tack shotgun is much, much wider. As you can see here, right here is the lowest and the smallest point that you can get your box to go on a heavy shotgun. It is very, very small. It is very, very compact compared to the pump shotgun here, which is a little bit bigger, and then the tack shotgun here, which is a lot bigger. Now typically it's not going to be this small all the time because doing things like strafing or jumping is going to increase the box size around your reticle. So right here, the screenshots that I showed you, those are just the best possible situation. That's where I'm holding still and I'm crouched to make the box as small as humanly possible. So that of course means that the heavy shotgun is going to be much more accurate and you're going to be able to hit a lot more pellets with that heavy shotgun than you would be able to with something like a pump or a tack. Because the box around the reticle is a lot smaller, you're more likely to hit more pellets. Now does that mean that at extended ranges, if you were to use a heavy shotgun over a pump shotgun, are you going to do more damage with that heavy shotgun since more pellets are hitting? Potentially yes, but not necessarily because like I mentioned, the pump shotgun actually does more damage. So how damage falloff kind of works in Fortnite is that the, each individual bullet or each individual pellet when it comes to shotguns, they don't have any damage falloff whatsoever. 
but how you're able to make it so that the further away you are the less damage you do so that you can't just map someone with a shotgun is of course the pellet spread which we already discussed. The farther you get away the harder it is for your pellets to go in one direct area meaning that all of those pellets are just going to scatter about and you're not going to do very much damage. But whichever pellets do hit those pellets are always going to do the same number of damage. So if we were to say that each shotgun has 10 pellets per shotgun shot, then that means that you can miss potentially two pellets with a pump shotgun and still do about the same as a heavy shotgun if the heavy shotgun is hitting every single pellet. So there is a little bit more room for error with the pump shotgun, but of course the pump shotgun doesn't have quite the precise accuracy that a heavy shotgun does provide. So what does this mean for the overall conclusion of which one is better, pump shotgun versus heavy shotgun? For me personally, the pump shotgun still reigns king. And that is for the pure reason that at any given moment, you can one hit someone. You cannot do that all of the time with the heavy shotgun, even though the heavy shotgun does do a significant amount of damage. Another thing that you have to take into consideration is how far away are you going to be fighting people from? Are you going to be fighting really, really up close and personal where there's not too much of a chance for your pelts to miss? Or are you going to be fighting from an extended distance where it could be a lot more reasonable for some pelts to miss, whereas the heavy shotgun would probably be a little bit more accurate? Typically, when fighting very, very good players, they're not going to let you take shots at them from an extended distance. Usually, they're going to close the gap, they're going to block all your shots with builds, and typically, you have one split second to get one shotgun shot off before the person either builds or runs away or disengages if they are a good player. So if you're using a pump shotgun over a heavy shotgun, the potential for that one hit before the person is able to get away or block their shot is a lot higher than the one hit with the heavy shotgun. Now again, if you are also playing that very smart player who doesn't give you a lot of opportunities to take a lot of shots at them, Typically, the cooldown and the difference between fire rates with the pump shotgun and the heavy shotgun become a little bit closer because typically you're taking one shot, like I said, you're building and then you're maneuvering, and then by the time you need to fire another pump shot, your pump shotty is ready again. Now, this is also something newly changed with the pump shotgun. Originally, when double pumping was nerfed, they made it so that if you switched from your pump shotgun to a different weapon, when you went back to your pump shotgun, it wouldn't be ready. But almost literally 24 hours ago, they decided to change that and make it so that when you switched weapons and you went back after the extended cooldown period, you could fire that pump shotgun again. So you can build, you can put away your shotgun, you can switch weapons, and then you can go back to that shotgun and when the cooldown is ready, you can then fire that pump shotgun again. So for me, the bigger value definitely comes from the pump shotgun just because of the damage potential. That's something that I'll always go over. The damage potential is just something too high for me personally to give up over the heavy shotgun. Now, a combination of the two is absolutely incredible. If you use something like a pump shotgun and then you get one shot on someone and switch to the heavy shotgun, you know you're going to do a pretty consistent amount of damage with that heavy shotgun. I would 100% choose the heavy shotgun over the attack shotgun. It is way more accurate and way more consistent. One thing that I will say though that is nice with the attack shotgun is that if you're a little bit off aim, if you're not directly where you're supposed to be, you can still do a little bit of damage with the attack shotgun even if your aim is poor. With the heavy shotgun, if you don't aim where you're supposed to aim, you're going to miss out on 100% of the damage. So it's higher risk, higher reward with the heavy shotgun, but that is definitely something that I would personally prefer. So like I said, in my opinion, the pump shotgun is the better option, but definitely let me know which one you guys prefer and which one you guys would think is better. From my personal experience, I would say that the heavy shotgun is more consistent at doing high damage numbers from an extended range. When it comes to the pump shotgun, sometimes it can do a fair amount of chunk of damage, but when it comes to something like the heavy shotgun, I find myself doing ridiculous numbers from ridiculously far away. Like, it's crazy how accurate that shotgun really can be. I would say that the heavy shotgun is something that I prefer against bad players. Bad players typically don't build, they just stand there and they let you shoot them. So if you put up a simple base and you do quick peeks with the heavy shotgun, pelting someone from a range, a bad player from a range, it can really help you save some health. And saving health against a bad player is 100% key 
to surviving against the next good player that you come up against. As much health as you can survive and as long as you can stay at the maximum health of 200, the better off you will be later on in a match. And again, that's just something that the heavy shotgun is really, really good at because you can just keep pelting people with a very consistent, very good damage numbers with a shotgun. Using an auto rifle, something like a SCAR can definitely be very effective still against noobs, but those still kind of rely on you peeking longer than you'd prefer. Something like a shotgun, you quick peek, shoot them, get back into cover before that person can even react. So the heavy shotgun is by no means a terrible weapon, it is a very, very consistent weapon, which I greatly appreciate, but overall, it just isn't the best in my opinion. Hopefully this was informative, if you guys have not subscribed yet, feel free to do so, I do a ton of Fortnite videos, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.